What did you put in it? Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of different things, but I'll tell you, it would even fall on the Scrooge. It's not that strong. He said that Christmas is a humbug. And he believed it, too. More shame for him. He's a comical old fellow, in a pathetic sort of way. He's very rich. Or at least you always tell us so. Well, yes, but what of it, dear? His money is of no use to him. He doesn't do any good with it. It doesn't make him, it doesn't even get used to make himself comfortable. He hasn't the satisfaction of thinking that he'll ever pass it on to us. <laughs> and he makes an enormous profit in his business. But how does it profit him? It doesn't. I couldn't be angry with him if I tried. Who suffers most by his ill whims? He does himself. He takes it into his head to dislike us so he won't come here and have any fun with us. He wouldn't feel so grumpy if he just enjoyed himself once in a while and join us in a silly game every now and then, huh? I say, why don't we play a game? Let me talk, and I'll be it. Oh, I know why Topper wants to play. I don't say he cheats, but he does always manage to find Betty's sister, even with the blind man's bl blindfold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather play some kind of guessing game. That's fun. I like that better. Let Rodrigo pick a subject for us to guess. All right. I have it. I'm thinking of an animal. A savage animal? <coughs> Ferocious. Can it be seen in London? Yes. Is it, is, it, is it kept in a zoo? No. In a circus? Does this animal run loose on the streets? It doesn't run. He walks. On four legs? No. On two legs? Yes. Is it a bear? Not technically, but he does growl. Does he eat people? Gobbles them up whole and their houses too. <laughs> Is it a termite? Termites don't eat people, silly. Did you ever hear a termite growl? <laughs> I haven't the foggiest notion of what it is. Well, I'll give you a clue. This animal not only gobbles up a house, but it gobbles up